Hey guys, today this is my Shin Godzilla drawing and time lapse video. And you might hear my little brother just raging to escape running head. So yeah, there are cutscenes in this video, like the one coming up in like in three, two, one. Cutscene. So I bet you've made it this far into the video, which is 12 seconds, I think. This is what I have so far. So this is what I have. It's very creepy. And yes, I have a picture here for, you know, for help. Okay, back to the time lapse. And yes, my brother's drawing something too. Here we go, another cutscene. After another cutscene. That was the first cutscene we had though. And I was making the neck and the, the, the down body. I don't know what you call that. And yes, as you can see, I drew the teeth already. And I'm focusing on the main details now. So, cutscene in three, two, one. Okay, and if you stayed on this far into the video, this is what I got so far. Can you move your hand, please? Sure. It is very cool. I know, right? This is going to be the most epic drawing I've ever done. Let's keep going. If you made it this far into the video, then here's what I have. Yeah, a little detail to the head. And this is what my little brother has. I'm trying to decorate it. It kind of looks like that one extinct shark. All right, back to the time lapse. Okay, so yeah, I, I drew some details right here on the head. I know it looks pretty weird, but it'll work out in the end. And then I drew some lines and then scrolls travels. And then I think I was working on the body at this point. Yeah, I was working on the body. I am I am talking it I'm talking in this speaker. Literally I when I was done drawing it and cutscene. Yep. I'm guessing you've made it far. This I mean you made it far in this this far into this video and this is what I have. It is getting better and better. It's kind of confusing because there's just too much shading and stuff. <laughs> and this is my little brother's one. Simple as hell. So I'm gonna move the camera to a different dot, Wait, hold on, hold to a different on. angle record, so you can me. see. Record me. Oh, okay, I guess. Sussy swordfish. Sussy swordfish. All right, back to time and in three, two, one. All right, here's another time lapse. I spent a lot of time trying to uh, adjust the camera, but now I got it. So here's a time lapse. And yeah, I, th I think you get a better angle. And you can just see me drawing and coloring that the Shin Godzilla. And there, there's a cutscene popping up in three, two, one, cutscene. And you know what I'm gonna say. Let you have made it this far into this video, so here's what I've got. It's turning out to be pretty good, actually. How about I'm me? proud of myself. Oh yeah, and you know, he did a little bit of more stuff. Yeah, more drawings. I'm currently working on the hand. I've never drew Shin Godzilla before. That's why I just use a picture. The most thing I'm concerned about hey is the head. Hey the, the head is just shaped like an oval hey a little bit, so back to the time lapse. Okay, so apparently I'm gonna stop doing the time lapses and I'm just gonna cut the video all the way to when I finish the drawing. This is what I have so far. You forgot what me. Yeah, I forgot the legs, the back spines, and a lot of other stuff. And you didn't draw a so no, I'm not gonna try. I'm just gonna skip it to when I finish it, which is gonna be the next morning because I'm currently gonna go sleep right now. So I'm gonna cut it 
to when I finish it. And three, two, one. Good night. And good morning, everybody. This it is officially the morning. As you can see, we woke up very early. It was seven, seven thirty. No, seven oh three a.m. So, I'm like as I said, I'm just gonna video so just do the time lapse. No, way? no cuts. So three, two, one to start. Okay, so this is the longest. The longest time lapse clip I've ever done. It was two minutes. I might do something even longer than that, but yeah. So I, I was drawing Shin Godzilla's body and waist, and then the other was a little just watching. And yeah, I did some a little bit more details of the head, maybe, and the back spine. I wasn't even doing any details to the head, and, and there's a the leg right there, that little circle on the bottom. And then those lines that you see on Shin Godzilla. Yeah, the, those, those things, the lines on the waist. And then the hands. And then I, I used a little bit of creativity to make sure you, the hand is visible. Because if I, if I didn't do that, then the hand would just blend into the body. So... I just may always made sure to do that. And yes, you saw me lay down for like a, a, a second because I was so tired. I didn't take any breaks. My hand is hurting at this point. You can see me struggling. You can clearly see me struggling. It was like I was in hell. I was definitely in hell at this point. I had nothing to do. Just keep drawing and drawing. And that's when I realized it's time to work on the back spines. So then I worked on the back spines. The back spines. And then Jaylor moved the poster board a little bit. But meh. And now I drew the other hand like on the back of the, the body. And I kind of got a little flimsy with that. So yeah, maybe I just kept it like that. And then I worked on the tail, the final, the final piece of a masterpiece. And then I just worked with a little details on the tail, and then I was finished. And yes, you heard what I said. I was finished, and this is what I ended up with. Yeah, a complete masterpiece. Look at that. Look at that! Just look at it! This is the first time I have ever drawn Shin Godzilla this way. Oh, I'm gonna take a photo action. And yes, is there any kid artists like me? Like, if you're an artist and you're nine years old, just keep drawing and then you'll end up like a masterpiece like this. So, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye. I'm sorry, I just can't taking, I can't stop taking videos of it. It's so beautiful, it's bringing tears to my eyes that I made this.